Stranger Things. It says friends don't lie, but it's like friends, and then you have to flip it over, you know, because the upside down. Friends don't lie. This is a gift from my friend Terry. Thanks, Terry. Hello, everybody. E here. Welcome back to another book review. Today, we're talking about a book that I picked up for Women in Horror Month. I finished it in February, but I didn't think it fit in February, and there's a lot of stuff that happened in February. If you've been following me on Twitter, if you've been following me here, you know there's been a lot going on in my life. Uh, mostly bad, unfortunately, but some good is starting to peek through. But uh, I read this book for Women in Horror Month. It, it didn't feel like a horror novel, really. Um, I don't know how it ended up on my radar as horror. Uh, it certainly isn't. If anything, it's more of like a... It's not really a domestic thriller, because it's not a domestic situation. But uh, it's Eileen by... M sorry. Otessa Moshfe. I think that's how you pronounce her name. Moshfe. Yeah. Um, this story is told in the first person's pr perspective from the titular Eileen. She lives with her alcoholic father. She is a bit of a lush herself. She has, she has, she doesn't just have issues, she has subscriptions. Um, this lady is messed up. Um, not in like a serial killer way, but there is a bit of a sociopath about her. There is, I guess, a missing person plot at some point uh it's but there is a twist in here that i really appreciated because i didn't see it coming as i was reading along i automatically latched on to the writing the writing is fantastic in fact i would say if you are more about plot than you are character and writing chops definitely stay away from this book because the plot it's not plot heavy it's all about this being in this one character's head um, it's not as stream of consciousness as like a Faulkner, but she does travel down some rabbit holes in her head that are fascinating to read. And I love getting a glimpse into a well-built well character, and that's exactly what I got with this book. Um, again, the writing is phenomenal. Um, I went out and bought her novella, McGlue, as soon as I finished this one. In fact, that's probably a lie. I think it was a little bit before I finished this one because the twist made me smile so, so much. So I went out and bought McGlue. I have that one up on deck. I don't know when I'll get to it. It's only like 120, 150 pages, I think. So it won't be too long because uh, I really want to get back to her writing. Uh, I did hear from some people that uh, they thought the book went nowhere. I'm starting to believe that books that most people, uh, like the popular consensus says the book goes nowhere, those are the books that I end up liking the most, the books that people don't see the point in, um, or most most people. I'm not talking about everybody, because I'm sure, you know, she wouldn't still be publishing if nobody understood her work. Um, I really, really loved where this went. I loved how it ended. It was kind of like Baby Teeth. It, it's one of those endings that just leaves you like, okay, uh, yeah, I, I dig that. I dug that entire journey. Um, you are going to have those moments where you're like, what does any of this mean? Um, if you're of my intellect anyways, because there were several times when I was like, there's a whole lot of information here that I don't think has any purpose. And it did have a purpose, which was great. I loved watching Aline, Aline deal with the different characters in the book, who she respected, who she loved, who she hated, who she despised, especially, especially her very, very weird and toxic relationship with her father. These two going back and forth were terrific to watch. Um, it's not a happy situation. Um, in fact, and uh, my friend, this is how I imagine my friend Sarah would deal with, a, with, with an alcoholic. She herself doesn't drink, but um, my friend Sarah Frost, Sarah, if you're watching this, if you ever read this book, this is how I, I see you reacting, because I've seen you react to certain to certain people, and you're always polite, you never lose your head, and that's how Eileen acts. But Eileen is, is a sociopath, I feel. She doesn't really care about anybody else, it's all about her world, so that's completely different from my friend Sarah. But this is how I imagine my friend, you know, reacting to people who are just absolute idiots or assholes or, or whatever, a very polite, to the point, direct approach and I love that about Sarah and I love that about Eileen. So have you read Otessa Moshfe's Eileen? If you have, let me know what you think about it down there in the doobly-doo. If you liked it, tell me why you liked it. If you hated it, tell me why you hated it. 
give me specifics so we can have a chat about it down there in the doobly-doo. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you, this has been another book review. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye!